family vacation took us to Whistler in British Columbia this summer, and as you can see, we're pretty much fun hogs. An active family's life can be made a lot easier with the right vehicle. So, to get to all this action, we're driving... A minivan? Yep, a Chrysler town and country to be exact. Yeah, I know minivans have a bit of a stigma about them, but practical people understand they've got an almost magical way of making life easier, and I've got plenty of vacation footage to prove it. Normally we travel pretty light, but hey, with a van, there's loads of room, so we're taking everything and enough food to comfort a survivalist. It's easy to get cozy since this is like a small family room. For 2011, Chrysler made the 283 horsepower Pentastar V6 the only engine. The transmission is a six speed, the lever a bit of a reach. And so begins our adventure and five days of wondering if I lock the back door. These days, style-conscious parents are gravitating towards crossovers. No, I'm not really a minivan person. But the incredibly versatile interior is winning Mariko over. No, I like this one. I, it's very roomy and lots of little compartments. Compartment for my purse, lots of cup holders. All of that makes it just nice for a longer drive. If your kids can't relax in here, then you shouldn't have bought them an espresso blizzard. Load photos and music onto a hard drive or listen to Sirius satellite radio. Phones and iPods are supported. Forget DVDs, there's optional satellite television. There's even an outlet to power video game consoles. If you can get the kids to read, these lights don't bother the driver. This book of questions is one of our road trip favorites. If you could firebomb any store or business, which would you do it to? <laughs> firebomb? Not just bomb, firebomb. <laughs> yeah, that's the way we're raising our children. The Sea to Sky Highway to Whistler reveals the chassis dynamics. I'm actually surprised the town and country handles as well as it does. It's, it's not a Porsche, but it handles this curvy road pretty darn well. The Pentastar V6 is very powerful, making passing easy. Town and country is also pretty quiet. Blind spot warning is helpful. At five feet tall, Mariko appreciates adjustable pedals and a tilt and telescope wheel. Oh, visibility is great. No problem. If we were headed up in winter, heated seats and steering wheel could be really cool. Or uh, would that be hot? The kids even get heated seats. EPA rates fuel economy at 17 city, 25 highway. The trip computer has been pretty solid, 27 miles per gallon all the way up. Pretty good for a rig this size. 75 bucks of road food later, we arrive in Whistler Village. Backing out of the grocery store parking space is made easier with a cross path warning system. That signals oncoming traffic. We hook up with my nephew and family. First up is mountain biking. How come you're not going? I just thought I would let everyone else have more fun rather than worrying about me on the ground. You could easily throw a couple of these in back with the first two rows still usable or mount them on top. The roof rails stow away into the rack when not in use. Next up is a zip line tour. Hanging on a wire 1,100 feet up is not exactly what Mariko calls fun. So while we spend the afternoon doing this, she heads off to a Scandinavian spa. That sounds like fun too. Chrysler vans are the only ones with stow-and-go seats, though it limits the seating to seven. All chairs disappear into the floor, or there's extra storage when they're up. In Seattle, we scored exercise gear at a garage sale, while in Whistler, we can take two families out for dinner. By the way, the back seats are very roomy. 6'3", more than enough room. Maya, I know that you've got enough room. 4'11", it's not my problem. Yeah. The new interior looks rich. Materials are soft where they count. I'd like to see keyless ignition, though. The fob operates both side doors and the hatch. It can also remotely start the engine to preheat or cool the cabin. Town and Country starts at 30 grand. This Touring L model is 37. 
very competitive. It certainly made a good impression on the family. Well, I think that if we were shopping again and our kids were young, this is definitely the right kind of vehicle. Crossovers might be more fashion forward, but they don't have the effortless utility of vans. So go ahead, take the plunge. Stylishly practical, Chrysler Town & Country makes active family life a lot more um, bearable. As long as we're on style, I'll remain neutral on van design. Really, none of the current designs are considered beautiful, though I think the VW Rutan is the best looking of the bunch, and it happens to be based on the town and country caravan platform. I'd like to give a shout out to all the folks that we came across at Whistler. Remember, this is where the 2010 Winter Olympics were held, and it's an amazing place to visit even in summer. Everyone we came across clearly enjoyed their jobs. Mike, our mountain bike guide, was a great instructor. Uh, you guys said you've done some mountain biking, but not downhill? I haven't. No I mountain haven't. biking, no mountain, oh, no mountain biking at all. So cycling? Yes. You can ride bikes. This is apparently the first ski area that converted to mountain biking during the summer months. What could be better than tooling up the side of Whistler? Eating freshly made waffles when you get there. Does life get any better than this? They also retrieved the GoPro camera mount I forgot on the ATV. Thanks, guys. On our last day, we took the peak-to-peak -to -peak tram to Black Home Mountain and hiked around all day, then took the tram back to eat dinner at what seems to be the top of the world. There's all sorts of activities to do here, from river rafting to fishing. We just ran out of time. Well, that's my look at the Chrysler Town and Country. Hope you enjoyed our vacation at Whistler, and I'd like to thank my family before we go because they put up with an awful lot with me videotaping everything that they do. Gets a little annoying, I understand. Thank you, family, very much. That's Driven. I'm Tom Volk.